Today we have a 2004 Honda Pilot with a 3.5 motor V6. We're replacing the starter. So first thing to do, remove the battery. Once we do that, we're gonna take all these plugs off of here. Uh, I'm just gonna take off this whole thing here that hangs number 10 on the side holding it uh, right here, as you can see. And then we're gonna go ahead and move the entire tray. Looks like it's held in by some 12s. One, two, I believe it's just two of them holding it. We're just gonna get this completely out the way first. So go ahead and get this removed and we'll get this off. So the battery tray has a total of four number 12 bolts holding it. One there, one here, one down the side here, as well as one on the side in here. You just have to kind of get all these connectors out the way, just push down these tabs, slide them outward. This one, I just took number 10 off right here, just throw it to the side. I'm just gonna go down there and move that 12. And then it'll expose the entire starter right here. It gives us all the room we want to remove this. We could easily, you know, work around this, but just to help it out, we're gonna go ahead and just move this four bolt. Okay, guys, so the battery tray is removed. Now, that last fourth bolt, it's kind of has to get to the back here. This one here. Um, you don't have to fully remove, just kind of back it out a hair. It slides right off the body, uh, battery tray here, so this just pops out. Uh, that kind of helps guide it back in. So if you do it this way, don't work around the battery tray. Don't worry about removing that all the way, just loosen it up, bring it out a little bit. I used a wrench just to get under here. Uh, but everything worked out, so now let's get the starter out. Uh, first thing we do is the semi wire, just kind of wiggle wiggle up here and pull it out. There you go, so that's pulled out. And then pulling this cover back, we're going to move the power wire, which is number 12 nut here. We're going to go ahead and move this out the way, and then there'll be two bolts holding this that we're going to get to. I won't be able to get a good view, but I'll show you on the inside. All right, so now all this removed here, all is left is the two bolts holding it to the bell housing, which are two 17 millimeter bolts. So pretty much, we're just gonna go ahead and remove those. One of them is right here, actually. So that one's simple, just an extension. The other one I might have to use a, uh, a wrench it's further down here, and this is kind of in the way. I don't feel like moving it, but also it looks like it is part of the starter, so I might have to remove it. Uh, like a little number, some type of bracket on the end here. But on the new starter, you'll see how it sits. It sits like so, and the two bolts that sit there. So two 17s, let's get those removed and swap it out. So a little semi view of where that um, other bottom bolt is. It's right here. So just that one's removed. Now I'm going to this top one, and we'll swap this out. I'll just go ahead and take this out and push, uh, put the new one in. OK, guys, so old starter is removed. I just wanted to show you all the bolts. The top one is the short one. The bottom one is the long one here. Uh, so this is removed. So go ahead and put the new one in, get these tightened down, and pretty much I'm just going to tighten everything down and show y'all nothing else. We took it out, you know how to put it back in, so let's get this new starter. Alright guys, so the two 17 bolts are installed, 12 millimeter nut for the power wire, as well as, as, well as pushing the sending wire in to clip it in. So now let's uh, put our battery tray back in. Okay guys, so everything's pretty much installed now. Pretty much all done. Just gotta put the battery back in and start the vehicle. So thanks for watching y'all. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come.